Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Bear Gaming. We are continuing. This is the Moscow mission. Should be pretty interesting from what I heard. Uh, well, welcome back to Papa Bear Let's Play. If you want to check out my other gaming channel, it's Papa Bear Gaming. Uh, that's Papa with two P's. So give it a shout. Similar icon. And uh, we're going to jump right into the Moscow missions. So this is the first time I'm playing them, right? I got to successfully escape a police chase. Complete three days without getting chased by the police. Ooh. Deliver 150 package deals. Complete the campaign with three stars and complete the campaign with four stars. That seems pretty straightforward. Normal difficulty. All right, let's see what we got here. We got three drivers. Ooh, somebody's got a sports car. That's cool. Um, hmm. I have 9,000. I think we usually do. Let's see what kind of purchase options. I don't want to just purchase it. Um, looks like sports car is an option. Oof. Luxury car. I can't lease anything, huh? What about this guy? So I, I can't buy any of these, huh? Because they're all purchased flat out. I don't, I don't even know why this is here, then. For a fee, I can't even do that. So we don't. Okay. So I guess you can't really do anything. Maybe we can do um, five seconds short clip before online advertising. Let's do what job offers. With one listed job requirement. Uh. I mean, I'm not spending any money. Sure. Can I lower the payment? It's a lot. Respectful and friendly, kind to others, clean driving record, easy going, coordinating skills, good at handling difficult situations, deliver packages on damage, great customer service, goes above and beyond, goal oriented, must have one year experience, license to operate standard vehicles, license to operate helicopters. Let's say um, good at handling difficult situations, ability to work with food, how about delivers packages undamaged. Pay him a little less. 127 sounds good. Okay. Cool. We'll do that. So let's start the day. We got a message from Mr. Fink. Oh, th that guy looks like the guy from Breaking Bad. So it says, Welcome to Moscow. Appreciate you coming all this way to help me with my deliveries. You can call me Mr. Fink. Fring. I'm not here for small talk. I'm here for business. It's my pleasure to help. What exactly do you need help with, Mr. Furring? I'm pretty sure it's going to be moving packages across the city that aren't necessarily legal. Very well, let's get started. I have a very important package that needs to be delivered today. I'll even let you keep 25% of the profits. I'm not sharing my profits with you. Okay. I need more than 25. Uh, say I need more than 25. I'm sorry, but the percentage is non-negotiable. Besides, it's just for this one package. You don't have to share all your profits. If it's only for a few packages, that's fine. This isn't normally how I do my business. I'm just say, okay, if it's for a few packages, that's fine. Yeah. We start out small before we give you a big job. This package pays a thousand, so I'm taking my seventy-five percent cut now from your bank. Whoa. Hold on. The package pays a thousand, so I'm taking my seventy-five percent cut now from your bank. You did. It's just seven fifty. Once you complete the delivery, you'll keep the full thousand. So in the end, you'll make two fifty. Um, why do you take your seventy-five percent up front? I see it as insurance. No matter how you handle the package, no, I'm guaranteed to get my portion of the money. I'm gonna give you a cargo van for free to help you with deliveries. I'll be in your garage tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. This is already a little suspect. But hey, I guess we got a job to do. We got packages to deliver. So let's go do that. And we only have three cars, so this is going to be kind of a problem. Oof. I guess we can speed it up a little bit. This is the first day, so I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Okay, might as well go do that. Ok, 
Okay. This guy have three spots. Yes, he does. Okay, nobody is rushing able. They're all doing pretty good. Okay, so we're doing okay. Let's see. Oops, pressing the wrong button here. I was pressing the space bar. But we'll grab all those packages. This guy can grab that later. Oh, he's got a hot dog too. Damn. Okay. Dents and dings. Hey, so I kind of made a big mistake. I was distracted by my GPS and I re rendered another vehicle. What should I do? Make sure everybody's okay. Just spoke to them, everybody seems okay. There's just minor dents and dings in both vehicles. But they want my insurance information. Damage is minor, don't need insurance information. They were hesitant but agreed. Thanks for the help, sorry about the vehicle. Don't worry, accidents happen. Cool. Yeah, you better not make sure it doesn't have it again. All right. Um, where's my car number? Okay, they're all still going there. Let's see. And hot dog is over there. And we're doing that. That's just fine. No ride share, perfect. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm gonna escape. I'm gonna escape. I think I escaped. Ow! Oh, how? They got me. I don't know how that happened. Too hot. Let's see. Okay. This person's not doing anything. Man, I keep getting fined. Still got pretty good customer reviews though. Oh, come on. Can I turn this off? I don't know why everybody's rushing. <laughs> and I think we're doing okay here. I think we're done actually. Oh, no, we got this guy. And we're done. 4.6 at the end of the day. I guess it's not too bad. Complete three days without getting chased by the police. That one's going to be tough.
And I got my cargo van, so that's cool. Waiting for 11 more ratings. Did I get any bad? Or no, ignored. I got two bad. Carol and uh, a mirror. Hmm. Not too, too bad. Well, that was an easy one. That was the first one. Thanks for watching. Take care.